My name is Derek Stacy. I'm a teacher here at the Nova Career Center. I've been working here for the past 13 years uh, teaching automotive mechanics. Currently, my, my students are a mix of local and international. The group that kind of inspired this whole thing was uh, made up of 22 students. Uh, four of them spoke English as a native language. So you can imagine it was, it was kind of interesting. The, uh, some of the terms we're using in this module are hard for a native English speaker. Imagine never speaking English and then all of a sudden somebody's throwing terms at you like hydraulic modulator valve or, you know, BPMV or, you know, EBTCM and what's that mean? So the guys were freaking out a little bit. What we did was we came up with a list of words that the class actually, you know, supplied that I've used because this was, this didn't happen right away, right? This happened maybe um, about a week in and I'm like, oh yeah, this is this. And they're looking at me going, I don't understand. So anyways, what we did was we threw up a bunch of words on the board uh, that, like I said, they supplied. And then we divvied them up between the whole group and everybody had one or two or three words that they had to basically find a picture for that they could associate with the word and then translate the term into their own languages. So for some slides you'll see um, we have English, Mandarin, and French, which is really cool, right? And that was the idea for the whole thing, but not everybody pulls the same weight in the group, you know. But it, at least doing it this way, um, it allowed them to buy into the idea that this was for them because they're doing it, you know, instead of me just handing them a piece of paper saying, oh, this is what it is, and then me finding them scattered all over the shop. So they had this document that was living uh, that was avail available to them at any time because they could access it on their phones that they can use when they needed it. So that was the whole sell, you know, like, this is why we're doing it, guys. It's going to be awesome, you know, you'll have it. And, and they actually did, you know, and they, they bought into it. And that was what, that was cool. As they were making this document or whatever you want to call it, uh, it was kind of cool because everybody was working on it at the same time in the computer lab. And because everyone could see the changes that are being made, uh, I was able to interact with the students right away. So if I saw something like if one of the things we talked about was a, a salt water solution, and if you look in the diagram, right, in the slideshow, <clears throat> what they did was they took a salt truck on the road, you know, spreading salt, which is technically correct, but not what we were talking about. We were talking about a, you know, 5% salt water solution that you spray on. So I was able to stop right away and say, hey guys, this is great, but that's not what I'm talking about. And I, I think that's, that's important, right? Because what's the best type of feedback? The feedback that's instant. So you don't just keep on making the same mistake and thinking you're doing the right thing when really you're not. So, I mean, in, in terms of uh, feedback, uh, it's great. In terms of uh, formative assessment, it allowed me to see what the students thought they were doing versus what they should have been doing. And that that's cool because at, at that point, it allows me to, to address misconceptions, misunderstandings, uh, you know, things that I thought were covered properly. Oops, <laughs> maybe I should do that again, right? And that, that was really, really important to me, especially with this group.